Today in the Booth Guide, we are looking at the Red Wing Heritage, the Foreman Chugga in beautiful Briar Brown. So at any point during this review, if you don't agree with something that I'm saying about the booth, please comment below in the comments box. Bring it to my attention. Let me know what it is that you just don't agree with. Now, let's get to the foreman. So there are three things about this booth that I absolutely love, and there is one part of this booth I completely despise. But I'm going to start with the one thing that I think is probably the nicest part about the foreman. And that's the neoprene sole, this oil resistant neoprene sole that they used. This really brings me back to an era when mailmen and policemen were still called mailmen and policemen and they wore neoprene soles because of how long they lasted and because of the comfort. Neoprene is a really comfortable sole material in the whole line of heritage boots. For its time, it was probably the most comfortable sole out there. And when you built it onto a full leather last, you made a boot that you could break in the upper, you could form the footbed, and you could replace the soles every six to nine months because well, mailmen and policemen, they walked a lot. There was beat cops and the mailmen walked miles every day up and down concrete stairs. So the neoprene sole is probably my favorite part about this boot. Now moving into the upper section, I already mentioned it's a full leather welt, so it's rebuildable, recraftable, resolable, however you want to say it. Moving into that upper though, that's briar leather. That is that beautiful oil tanned leather and this stuff is beautiful. Out of the box, the feel of this leather, feeling the way it's got that tooth to it that only this type of leather does, the smell that comes off it, and just the pure hand of it is absolutely beautiful. Now what's also really nice is the way it carries over into the ankle section of the boot. So the laces and the eyelids, well the eyelids are the bronzed eyelids and these are really nice. It's a beautiful touch. It works really well aesthetically with the whole thing that's going on here. The laces are Red Wings typical work laces like you're going to find in the 606 to 2406 and boots like that. So if you were to pull these off and put in some beautiful brown or black leather laces, a nice deep brown leather lace, you would probably end up with one of the most beautiful looking chugga boots out there. Now the third thing that I love about this boot is the combination of the leather footbed the formable leather footbed mixed with the neoprene sole. Now, when you put these two things together, you're ending up with a lifelong boot. You're working into something that you're gonna have around for a really long time because that leather footbed is gonna take on the memory and the shape of only your foot after a few months. Having the neoprene sole mixed with that makes for a very comfortable all day walking boot. Now, most of the time I talk about boots in the aspect of them being work boots, but this truly is a casual boot. Now, I'm not saying that you couldn't work in this because steel shank, so you can actually climb a ladder. You can actually kick a shovel. I wouldn't do it all day long. I probably wouldn't want to stand in too much mud with this beautiful leather because I'd want to keep it beautiful, but there's a shank in there, so you can actually use it as a work boot. It's going to give you the support that you need for an all day wear. Now about that part that I absolutely hate about this, they use the cotton vamp. They carry the cotton vamp up into the tongue. Now, when I think of a chugga boot, I think of this baby being a summertime boot as it's above 80, 90, into the hundreds, and you still wanna wear a leather boot. The chugga boot with the height, with the type of leather that they're using, this briar leather that's just gonna completely breathe, having cotton in the vamp section and in the tongue not a great idea because what cotton does is it just holds on to the sweat and moisture. And as you can see, cotton frays, so it falls apart. So that means at some point you're going to wear that cotton out. So something I would have really loved to see was glove leather lining in the vamp section. I understand that that's a very expensive step, 
but we're already dishing out a few bucks on this boot, so why not line it with glove leather? My personal opinion on that. Now about the size and the fit on this beautiful chugga boot, well I gotta say you probably are gonna wanna go a half size down than your regular boot size. If you're a collector of Red Wing Heritage boots, apples for apples, whatever you're wearing in your Iron Rangers or anything like that, you can go right into the chugga with that size. Now, understand it's a summer boot. It's a warm weather boot or it's a more of a casual boot. So if you're wearing thin dress socks with this thing, going down that half size in order to get that to fit might seem like a good idea. But I do believe that having just a little air moving around inside here, even after it breaks in, that you're not sitting on top of the leather is gonna make it a much cooler warm weather boot. Now since the Briar is this oil tanned leather, something you're gonna wanna do to keep these things looking nice is you're gonna wanna brush them as much as you can, daily if possible. If it becomes your daily footwear, every time you go to put these things on, run a brush over them, keep your welts clean, keep your stitches clean, keep moving that oil around on the leather just so you keep the color consistent and you keep them nice and soft and supple. Because this leather is just absolutely beautiful. As you stretch it and you move the oil out of the leather, you can see that it is going to take on characteristics that are only going to exist in your pair of chuckas. Now, as far as lightweight boots go, well, they're not the lightest thing out there. I mean, you got a lot of heavy duty leather, you got this heavy duty neoprene sole, and you got a full leather welt. So, a pair of these chuggas are weighing in at 3.6 pounds. So that's the Red Wing Heritage Foreman Chugga Boot number 9215. Hey, if you're currently wearing a pair of Chugga Boots by Red Wing Heritage, please also comment below. Let guys know what you really think about them. If you have the neoprene sole, also please comment below and let guys know just how comfortable this sole really is built into a boot like this. Hey, if you're interested in seeing some detailed photos of the Foreman, or if you just want to know more information about the history of the Foreman, remember to swing by the bootguy.com. There I'll have all that put together in a current blog post, and I'll also have a couple of links that'll make it a lot easier getting a pair of these on your feet. Hey, please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. It really helps out. And remember, if you're interested, you can always follow me on Instagram and Twitter. If you're about to pick up a pair of the Foreman by Red Wing Heritage and you just got a few questions about size and fit and just things that you're not finding answers to, remember, you can always shoot me over an email. All right, until the next time, I'm the boot guy. Thanks a lot for watching.